様の拳など、顔度にも効かんわいお前は、もう死んでいる。何おわたくびでギレブ That's right, people. It's another TikTok star. Yay. Personally, I love Tic Tac. What's not to love? The flashing lights, the dumbass dances, whatever the hell this is. You honestly think you intimidate me. Intimidating me with threats and blackmail. Classic. Very, very classic. But the one thing you forgot is I am fighting back. I don't care. I'm fighting back. And I will continue to fight back. Because it's in my blood to never give up. I'm too damn stubborn. As are all my loved ones and family members. And my friends. We're all too stubborn to give up. So stop. What you're doing here? That isn't nice. It isn't cool. Stop and assist. Or I will have you reported for bullying and harassment. I don't care. Stop your shit. Final warning. Today's subject, Corbin Parnell, aka Jupiter, is not only a TikToker, he is the maker of quite possibly the worst apology of all time. And that is saying something. Y'all remember this? And this? Why is she wearing granny panties? You know, sorry, that's not important right now. Jupiter's apology might just be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with both of those abominations. You probably think this is exaggeration or hyperbole, but stick around, and you shall see the truth. Or, capital T, TRUTH. Because it's that important. Before we get into the apology heard around the world, I'd like to thank all my Patreons, but especially Marty McNasty, Sludge for the Sludge God, Mac Tyre, Drift King Jr., Diarangus, Overdone Skeleton, and Noodle Dog. If you like what I do and feel like supporting this work, the Patreon link is in the description. Check it out. Okay, people, I got a level with you. My heart just, it's not in this video. I mean, I just got done watching hours of TikTok. Fun fact, the fifth Duke of Wellington used to torture his enemies by making them watch TikTok for hours on end. He called it thumbscrews for the mind. Well, I can see why. Would you like to know the conclusion I reached after watching all this TikTok? You know, other than the fact that we're doomed as a species? Absolutely nothing. TikTok is the Sahara Desert of online video sites. Big useless, and the occasional cause of hurricanes. Look, I'm sure there are things on TikTok that are totally worth watching, even for those of us old enough to remember what going outside means. I just haven't found it yet. So, you're probably asking yourself, Biff, why did you choose this TikTok PDF file when there are so, so, so many others to choose from? To answer your intelligent question, Mr. Jupiter made it personal. I says, I'm a, I'm a hybrid between vampire and werewolf. I'm a hybrid. My dad's a vampire. My blood dad's a vampire. My blood mom's a werewolf. Meaning I wound up with both their powers. So when I first got on with you, my skin started to itch. That's the one thing about us magical creatures. When we actually interact with others of our kind, we get itchy. My shoulder was just getting itchy when I first met you. I was itching right here. Yeah. I usually get itchy around my neck. Tell me about your ideal date. If you had to take me on a date, what would you do to me? I mean, with me. <laughs> You're funny. You're funny. Thanks. And cute. So, I'd probably take you somewhere nice. Probably take you up to Golden Corral from my place. And if you've noticed how when I'm literally turned on you can tell just by my eyes because my eyes start going start glowing a little <sighs> that dude is not part werewolf if anything he looks like he's part jared genesis plus everyone knows 
Ain't no fine werewolf ladies birthing that well. Besides, vampires can't be dads. They have no, uh, blood flow. You know what I mean. Really? You want me to spell it out for you? All right. Let's just say... Let's just say little Dracula always sees the sun. There are only two relationship-worthy vampires on this planet, and they both have restraining orders against me, so screw Spike and screw Angel. What I'm trying to say is, Jupiter, your dad may have been an umpire, and your mom may have been Harry, but that doesn't make you one of us. Matter of fact, I'm declaring two things as the official alpha of the Biff Pack. Biff Pack. Number one, Jupiter's new name is Uranus. And number two, Uranus is not now or ever allowed to come to any werewolf meetings, even if he brings snacks. And as you all well know, we let anyone in with snacks. No longer. What have you got to say about that, Uranus? Never. Take this out. I love you, and I know you want me. I know you want it bad from me. Oh, no, he didn't. Luckily for me, most of the heavy lifting was done by a person named Linda Binda. I'm not sure that's a legal name. Linda got Jupiter hook, line, and sinker. She was able to get this little gem out of him. What's your deepest, darkest fantasy? My darkest fantasy is to watch all those who wronged me die by my hand. That's my darkest one. It makes me want, it just, it's just one of my darkest fantasies of doing. I want to kill everybody who's wronged me. Oh. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm going to say. I want to kill those who have wronged me as a person. I can make those people disappear. There's places out here in Idaho where I can bury bodies and no one would think to look. Have you done it before? Mm, not really done it, but actually thought of it. There are some people I want to bury out somewhere in Melba where no one will ever think to look. There's places okay. here in Idaho no one would ever think to look for a body. Whew. I don't know about you, but I am terrified that Jupiter will use his fake werewolf powers on me. And, and, and if I somehow survive, he'll just use his fake vampire powers. Honestly, though, dude's about as intimidating as a wet paper bag. But at least he tries. Being of trying and failing, we also have this. Though once again, I'm not sure how cosplaying as Raggedy Ann is supposed to intimidate anyone. But I guess, much like Granny Panties, it's an enigma we are not meant to understand. Now, so far, Jupiter has been mostly a goof. Matter of fact, if he was cosplaying as this character, I would watch that. But sadly, that's the real him, and we've yet to hit on the more... problematic parts of this story. Such as this. Have you ever thought about maybe becoming a star? Have you ever thought about that? I mean, what if, what if you and I decided to make, if ever you and I got married and we decided to make our own videos, would you, and we added them to different sites and they paid us a butt ton of money, would you consider doing it with me every time? For context, this is someone that Jupiter thought was from the ages of 14 to 15 years old. He knew what he was doing was wrong um, he even said it to me multiple times, like, the police can't do anything about it because they won't imprison someone that has mental issues. So he knew what he was doing was wrong. And I believe that if someone it does something that they know is wrong, they should be held accountable for their actions. And again, Jupiter is 25. Oh, but there is so much more. Okay, Maya, three reasons we should date. One, if you like what you see, then take it. Two, if 
you think that you'll be able to handle me, then that's on you. Three, you're cute as hell, and I'd love to have you on my arm. And here's a fourth reason. If you think that you'll be able to tame my inner beast, knock yourself out, girl. Thanks for watching, Maya. These are my reasons for you to date me. Peace. Anyone want to guess Maya's age? So we've seen he's a creeper, at least according to Linda, but what if Linda's making all of this up and we're sitting here besmirching this poor confused boy's reputation? I mean, it's not like we have definitive proof. Oh, would you like to see the definitive proof? Here it is. So, um, do you, are, have you stopped talking to pe to minors on TikTok? Yes, I have. I stopped. I quit doing that. There were some who contacted me on uh, on Discord, but I but I kind of blocked them and left their chats because I didn't want to be kept being set up. So I said it would be better if we all stayed friends until they're older. But until then, we're just gonna remain friends, you know? Yeah. But yeah, that's what I was gonna. That's what I should have said the first time, but instead I was high and exhausted at the time. So I wasn't thinking clearly. It's my brain. Was yeah. Busy. So let's, let's keep it that way. Let's keep it that way. I don't want, I don't want to see you in jail. Believe it or not, there's more than a couple of these laying around, but I think we mostly get the point. So we're going to move on. What are, what is he saying? He's just saying that he went to the police and all that kind of bullshit. And I've been, and I'm, as you can see, I'm free as a bird. Oh, someone's commented and said that they think that you're a pedophile. Oh, oh, piss off, haters. And by the way, I only dated minors as a, it was only for show. I wasn't actually doing it. It was only for show. Oh, Some okay. people took that too far, you know? I did it just for show. It wasn't, I wasn't even, either, I wasn't even serious with them. I just did it for show. You guys need to leave me alone and stop this crap now. It's pissing me off. Sorry. I, I'm sorry if I went off on a tirade. It's okay. I love and that. Chris, if you're watching this, I only did it for show. I wasn't actually doing anything to them. I wasn't actually dating them. So piss off. Eat my ass. Or eat shit and die for all I care, Chris. Whoever, whoever and wherever you are. I was only doing it for show. But you... You people are taking Linda Binda off. does not condone any of these messages. So quit with the pedophile shit. And I swear to God, if I go live and someone goes, oh, it's the pedophile, I'm going to end my life there. Um, someone said that you were, you were, until... you were dating minors for show. Yeah, it was just for show. It was okay. just a show. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I was doing it for show. People need to stop acting like I did something wrong. I was only doing it for show. What show was it for? It was just a, it was just a show of power, you know? I was doing it as a power move, okay. but apparently some people didn't like that. So that's... I stopped talking to them. I got contact with all of them. So that's pretty much good for me. I'm better now. I'm, I'm doing better now. But if anyone says that I'm a pedophile one more goddamn time, I swear to God, I will fucking leave TikTok. I swear to God. I am sick and tired of you people trying to make me into the villain when I'm not. I'm not a villain. I'm a good person. You should all just back off of me and leave me alone, you know? I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of you guys. Oh, he's a pedophile, blah, blah, blah. Fuck you guys. Fuck all of you. There. I got that all off my chest now. Well, that's, that's good. That's good. Okay, so we have a few questions for you already. Um, okay. Someone asked, are your parents first cousins or brother and sister? No. No. My parents, they're not. I promise. They've, they're from two different people. Great. Um, there ain't no inbred shit in my family. Okay. How did you become a werewolf? I've always had the power. I just kept it hidden. I always had those powers. I keep them hidden because I don't want to, I don't want to freak no one out. You know, I don't like freaking people out. Ask him to come into the office on Monday. What office? I don't, 
I don't know any fucking haircuts. What the hell? 360 of the haircut. Oh, that's... It's not a haircut. It's just my hairstyle. Oh, yes. I love a good back shot. Um, wait, that's someone... That's my whole style. Someone asked, um, since you're a vampire, do you drink blood? Um, not human blood, no. Um, I use that as a last... I use that as a last-ditch attempt if I ever, you know... Yeah, I only, I don't drink human blood. I don't do that. It, I use it as a last-ditch attempt. So what blood do you drink? Um, usually animal blood. I what? can bring inanimate objects to life and use them as a blood source. They're known as homunculi, and they're used as a blood source. So, like, you would find, like, a rabbit on the side of the road and just drink its blood? Yeah, something like that. Although I prefer to drink blood from a homunculus that I've created. What was the last animal you ate? Uh, it was an inanimate object that I drank blood from, and I'd rather not get her now because she doesn't like being on camera. She's shy, so I can't really. Well, can you bring another inanimate object on? Uh, they want to meet. They want to meet some of your friends. This was one of the inanimate objects I brought to life. Um, her name's Shira Tora. Although people call her Twilight, her real her name I gave her was Shira Tora, which is translated to shooting star. Um, but sometimes I call her Star for short. But sometimes I'll just call her by her name. So she's one of the many homunculi I brought to life. Um, so what do you do to her? I just used the blood ritual to bring her to life, and that was it. That's all it took. But what do you she do to her like once the, once that she's alive? What do you do? Well, we cement a contract, and then boom. She's alive for good, and she's able to be drank from, you know? How do you drink from her? Uh, Normally, I bite her. Just saying, normally, I'll bite her. Okay, yeah, that um, that sounds fun. I, I sometimes like to bite Barry the bee. Yeah, um, but only, if you want to bring Barry to life, use it only once. Because if you bring multiple objects to life, it's viable that one of them will turn against you. Okay, and so that was the last, that was the last thing that you brought to life? Yeah, heard I have a bunch of kids, but I don't really want to bring them on camera, you know. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Did he just say what I think he said? Okay. And so that was the last, that was the last thing that you brought to life? Yeah. Heard I have a bunch of kids, but I don't really want to bring them on camera, you know? I, I don't want to know. I don't want to know the why or the when. And I sure don't want to know the how. So if you know, keep it to yourself, please. That's the thing with Jupiter, though. You never know what he's going to say next. I, for one, did not have co-parenting with a stuffed unicorn on my Jupiter bingo card today. Man, if only it had been yesterday. Hold on. Now I kind of want to know, how exactly did these babies come into existence in the most loose terms possible? If you know, please tell me in a comment. If you want to make something stupid up, please tell me in a comment. I love that stuff. I got a fever, a fever that I cannot itch, and the only prescription is more low-cost trading cards. Yeah, luckily for me, the second set is still around, so I can get a cool set of cards, possibly including the magical Biff card right now. Yes! These cards have been selling like hotcakes, so I don't even know if they're still around for you, because your now is not the same as my now. My now is right now, your now is who knows when the hell your now is, but it's not now. So, if you're interested, check out the link below. Hopefully they're still around. Maybe you'll even get that ultra rare Biff card. What? Come on, they do it all the time. Our lawyers say I can't lie about the Biff card. But, it might be rare, or it might be so common kids are putting it in their bike spokes. Wait, that's still a thing, right? No? What about Penny Candy? The Zeppelin? The hell you say? They're all gone. 
Well, you better get your locale TCG before they go the way of the Toto. While it has been a wild ride, we are nearing the end. I wanted to make sure you knew exactly who Jupiter was before getting to this part, and looking at my checklist, we are there. So let's take a look at this, um, apology. It is with a humble heart that I, Jupiter, aka Corbin Pinnell, was a pedophile, and I'm hated for those crimes. I ask the world's forgiveness, as well as those who I've wronged, Bree, and all those other named souls that I have wronged. Pedophilia was never really what was supposed to be, and I apologize for those actions that I have taken. I am Corbin and Jupiter, and I give you my solemn word that it will never happen again. Bree and all their countless souls who I have hurt and wronged. I beg your forgiveness for the pedophilia I have done. I am not worthy of knowing if you forgive me or not. I am unworthy. And to the rest of the world, I was a pedophile, but I have seen the error of my ways and wish to be forgiven of my pedophilia crimes. And to all those others that I have hurt and wronged, I ask you to forgive me. I was never meant to hurt anyone. I bow my head in shame, and I am ashamed to call myself a Jupiter. I am ashamed of my actions, and I wish to be forgiven of the pedophilia crimes I have been accused of. And I promise you that it will never, ever happen again. I swear on the name of Jupiter and Corbin Pinnell. I swear upon that name that I will make this right. I promise I will make this right. I am unworthy of calling myself Jupiter. This video is my apology to the world for my crimes. And I ask again to be forgiven of those said crimes, of pedophilia, of being a horrible person and a monster. I ask to be forgiven in the name of Jupiter and in the name of Corbin Pell, I ask for forgiveness. This isn't how it was supposed to go. And I ask to be forgiven of my pedophilia crimes. I know now the error of my ways. Forgive me, everyone on TikTok. Forgive me and to know that my crimes are heard and know that I wish to be repenting of those crimes. Forgive me. Funny enough, that's exactly what I imagine a Chris Chan apology video would have looked like, you know, if he had ever apologized for anything. Speaking of Chris Chan, did you know that we have our own Liquid Jupiter saga going along? Whoever's using this name and trying to steal my moniker, one warning, I will sue you for impersonating me. Understood? Good. It's even got some interesting twists. All right. This other guy is calling himself my name. <laughs> Thanks for standing up for me. But I have to ask, why now show yourself? When you know what happened, why show yourself as a person? I mean, I thank you for standing up for us, you know, for me as a person. So let me ask you this. Who are you really and why are you impersonating me? I would never threaten anyone with their life unless they asked for it. And I need to know, who are you? Where did you come from? And what timeline are you from? Because if you're from an alternate timeline, like you say, that means that you're me who's come from a different universe and a different time-space continuum. 
There can't be two Jupiters in one reality. That will tear apart the bounds, the bonds between realities. That will tear us apart. I will not lose this universe. I'm here in this universe, but if you can help me get back to my original timeline and my original universe, I'll let you have this one. I promise. Just contact me and tell me who you are so I know that you're not just another person. Jupiter is here to help other Jupiters. He's here to make sure you don't get into any trouble, okay? And thank you for standing up for what is right. I will not be hurt by anyone else, okay? But I want you to know something. If you are who you say you are, then you'll know that we can work together to figure this out. We can work together and take down all those people who have been threatening us, who have been threatening our lives, you know, our livelihoods. So when you get a chance, reach out to me and we'll work together, you and me, partners. Oh, and uh, one more thing. If you are really me from an alternate timeline, then you will understand that Jupiter is trying his hardest to stay off the government's radar. So reach out to me. Let me know what I can do to help. That's all I ask is for you to work with me, the original Jupiter from this timeline. Please help me and I'll help you, my friend. Thank you. Peace out. So that was Jupiter. What do you think? Wait, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Something's wrong here. Something's misaligned in the force. I don't know what it... Oh, I get it. This video's not cringy enough. I mean, sure, I could add a few more Biff segments, but I think we can just hit our quota with this. Hey, everyone on TikTok. I know it's been a while, but I have some news for you all. Um, when my brother Shane gets out of prison, him and I will be moving out of state. I will be leaving Idaho forever and not coming back. I'm not going to tell you all where I'm headed. I'm not going to give any clues of where I'm going. But let's just say where I'm going, I'm going to be making a lot more money. And I will be reconciling with my brother. He needs to know that I still love him and care for him. So, yeah. Jupiter will no longer be living in Idaho. And when his friend calls me, I will tell him to tell Shane that I'm accepting his offer and leaving Idaho for good. And I will not tell all of you where I'm headed. For my own safety. Thanks. Peace. So that was Jupiter. What do you think? Is he new to you? Or are you already a Jupiter expert? As always, I'd love to get feedback with likes, dislikes, comments, whatever y'all feel like adding. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, Jupiter is moving. He could be your new neighbor soon.